Hi, welcome to the test bench. Today we're working on a Jabra Bluetooth headset. The charging port inside has fallen out. So what we're gonna do is we're going to disassemble and see if we can reattach the connector. All right, I've disassembled the board. I've set it up under the microscope. So let's go ahead and have a look. Okay, so we can clearly see there is an issue right here. This is where the connector goes. And let's just show you the connector here. I've left it uh, to the side to keep it safe. But this is the this is the connector right here. This is just a regular USB connection that we're gonna see if we can reattach back to the board. There it is there. Pins do look okay. Uh, I did notice that Some pads are ripped off the board right here. Luckily, not all of them have ripped off. And you can see there's still an imprint of where the old connections were. So what I'd like to do is have a quick look here. I'm going to place this there. And you can see on the old connector where the, the pads have actually stuck to the connector. So what we're going to do is we're going to straighten these pins out. I'm going to remove these old pads and we're going to solder this connection back on this board. I now have the connector firmly secured in one of these alligator clips. So what I'm going to do now is see if I can gently move these pins back. So let's uh, spend some time doing that. Okay, that's not looking too bad. Next thing I'll do is I'm going to clean this off and uh, get those pads that got stuck here off this connector. So what I'm doing here now is uh, taking a solder braid uh, to remove the excess solder from this connector. Um, we don't want to leave the old solder on there. We want to start fresh just in case there was an issue with this type of solder. So I'm just going to get this here and you can see how it just, the solder just sucks right up into it. Look at that. Nice and clean. Okay. So now we have some clean pins. Let's just grab this one. Perfect. And you can see the solder that got wicked up. Okay, we've got this connector all cleaned up now. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna focus on the board. So let's get that set up. We're gonna start off by cleaning this up and um, wicking all the old solder off. So let's apply some flux. It looks like we have removed part of this pad uh, when it came up. So we are going to have to fix that somehow. All right, we got all the old stuff mostly off. Let's give this a quick clean. We do have a bit of glare. I'm wondering if we can use our anti-glare light. Let's see a little bit better. Look at that, much better. Now let's take a look at these contacts and see where potentially it might go. So this one here, it doesn't look like it connects to anything at all. There's nothing around it to, to connect to. So I'm wondering if that is a no connect. Let's give this a little clean. A little bit better. Yeah, I, I think that one is a no connect. I don't think it connects to anything. I can see the old pad just sitting over here, just chilling. So let's get rid of that. 
what we'll do is we'll attempt to put the connector back on here. Um, we're ha we're going to have to grind that down a little bit, add a little bit of solder. We may need to put a small wire to the connection itself underneath. Unfortunately, I don't have any solder mask, so we're going to have to be careful when we do this. Here I have a really small wire I will be using to connect the pad to the via. But the first thing I need to do is prep this surface to accept this wire. What I'll need to do is scrape away the protective coating on the board, which is the green part, to expose the copper underneath. So this is an X-Acto knife. A very, very sharp X-Acto knife. I don't think it's going to be small enough to scrape this away. Let's also get a second light over here. Okay. Just so we can see what we're doing. See this connection is very very small just starting to see some of the copper underneath now and that may be enough let's try to add some solder to see if it will take to that connection and then we'll try to put the wire on it looks like we got a little bit on there clean up these pins is a little bit too big for this kind of work. I may have to switch tips. Look, that pad just came off. All right. I'm going to switch tips. And as it turns out, these two pins are actually connected. They're basically just acting as one pin connecting to this pad right here. So what I'll do is I'll get back to connecting this wire. This wire is about the size of a human hair. It's very small, very delicate. And what we want is for this to stick. We'll add a little bit of flux. Not sure if we have enough solder on there, so I'm going to add a little bit more. This is not easy work. Look at that solder blob. Okay, that's perfect. That is what we're looking for. There we go. We are on. Perfect. Yeah. Nice and strong now. Great. Let's clean this up a little bit. Great. And like I said, these two pins right here are connected as one. And that's okay. Let's add a little bit of solder back to these two side pins that are connected. Being very, very careful. Great. We can use that solder blob. That's fine. Like I said, connect the pins. And let's place this connector. What I'll do to start is Hold this down. So we should make sure it's lined up first. Let's move this back a bit. Great. Yeah, that looks actually pretty decent. 
not the prettiest, but uh, we're using an old connector. This is the kind of thing you run into. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure down on this USB, and I'm gonna heat up the side here until it reflows. I think that took. Let's switch over to the other side. Do the same thing. That off now. Let's take another look at that last pin. Just to see if that's made contact. Not sure it has. This is slightly misaligned. I think I just burnt the connector as well. I need a little bit more uh, fine tips and more practice, I think. But that's what we're here to do. We're here to learn. There we go. That's connected. Okay. I think we're okay. I think we are okay. And we'll cut this guy off here. Oh, okay. Well, that was not easy at all. It was a little bit of a challenge for me. This is my first time using this microscope uh, with my certain tips and working at this uh, scale. So it's it's quite small, very finicky. Um, I think we're ready to test. I'm just going to do one more double check to make sure everything is working and uh, we'll plug it in. Again, it's not the, uh, not the prettiest, but uh, also not the worst. So Better than nothing, I suppose. I'm going to switch over to bench cam. You can see my glorious mess that I've made here. I shut off the soldering iron, move it aside, and remove this. Okay. So that's what I was working with. We are going to plug in a USB to the wall and I think I can put this right in the path of the camera yeah looks like I can let's get a little bit more light on this situation there we go perfect and I'm just gonna do another quick visual inspection from over here make sure it all lines up looking pretty good okay Ready to plug it in and see what happens. Oh, look at that. It works. We have a red light, which means it is charging. Look at that. There was no red light before, mainly because this thing was not working at all. Okay, look at that. Great. So what I'm going to do now is reassemble this, give it a little test, let it charge for a moment, and uh, we'll be, I'll be back to let you know how we go. Okay. Moment of truth. I will hold it up to my microphone. Okay, I'm going to hold it up to my microphone, give this a test. It works! Look at that! All right! You can see the light flashing. Just like that. Guys, we did it. We just saved this from being thrown out. A perfectly good headset, ready to be used again. Look at that. If you like what you saw today, please send me a like, give me a comment, and subscribe. There'll be many more videos in the future. Thank you very much and have a great evening.